Larry Downs Jr. getting this boxing assignment. It is Corey Stokes and Will Brassell. Yeah, as Corey Stokes stepped into the ring, I watched the way his body language was when he was moving around, and he definitely has some skill and ability. We are underway. Brassell coming out early, basically gets pushed off. Balance there. Larry Downs Jr., making sure he's good. We are. Brazil having a good time smiling, which he should do. He's, you know, he's smiling, having fun. He doesn't want to take too many of them, though. Oh, he answers Man's with the right, right hand, hand, though. Now in the clinch. Two men will be separated. A lot of power on display by both men here early. Interesting uh, stance there by Brazil, almost standing at a 90 degree angle. Yeah, I don't think he has the boxing pedigree of Stokes, but he's throwing hard, and all it takes is one shot. Brazil coming in over the top with that right hand, easily evaded there by Stokes. Yeah, and that's something that obviously you can hear the corner of, of Stokes' hand. Watch that right hand. He's got to be careful because Brazil is throwing that right hand with some heat. And a few of those could hurt Stokes. Not even if you just won. One lands, that could change, change the game. Past the halfway point of round number one. See the mouthpiece there, Brazil. I don't know if he's getting winded. I mean, he's been throwing really heavy leather here early. Well, he might be, and that's where I was saying that experience comes in. It, you know, if he's never been here before, he doesn't know his pace. He doesn't know how hard he can throw for two minutes. Also, three times. fighting in front of this crowd, that does take a toll on you as well, the nerves, the adrenaline. Yeah, your body locks up, it tightens up. Speaking of the body lock now in the clinch, Larry Downs letting him fight out of it. Final 10 seconds of the round. Big right hand just misses by Stokes. Two minutes in the books between these boxers. Roussel throwing some heavy leather early. And, uh, you know, we're not breaking news here. When you look at technique, we see Stokes have a much more traditional technique, but still has to respect that power Listen, of Purcell. In, in a two-minute round, when you get three of them, and you get a guy who's a great athlete like Stokes who's throwing heat, it changes it. It changes the game. We're not talking about a 12-round look. We're not talking about a 12-round fight where they can set up. That's a great right hand by Stokes there. But Brazil, you know, doing his thing, stand, he's strong, he's staying in there. In the corner there of Brazil, what do you think his uh, corner should be telling him here for round number two? He's got to try to catch him with one of them right hands because he hurt Stokes with a right hand earlier. He's got to try to catch him with a right hand. Does he have to set it up a certain way? Well, or? I don't know if he has the boxing ability to set that up. And that's the problem, is he may not have it. He's going to have to just try to sneak it in there some way. And he can, and he can do it. He's doing a, a good enough job of roughing Stokes up, which is not traditional boxing. So that's also something he could do. Maybe catch him on a break, just rough him up, get close to him like that, and rough him up. Stokes trying to bide his time. And we see Brazil kind of Showing some gamesmanship there. Yes, and then, and there he goes. He's being unconventional, and that's how you find a conventional fighter in two minutes. Just be as unconventional as you possibly can be. It's incredibly hard to prepare for an onslaught like this in the gym. I mean, what do you tell your training partner? Hey, just throw haymakers no, at No, and they don't do that in a boxing right. gym. So it's like, it's hard to prepare for these type of fights. Two minutes, three times. And I think you're right, too. Stokes, while his technique may play to his advantage over a much longer fight, he doesn't have that opportunity here. This is a no. short fight. Speaking of a short fight, already near the halfway point of this match. Nice right hand finds a home for Stokes. Yeah. And, but you see that right hand didn't have a major effect on Brazil. Like, if his, if his punches was having a major effect on him, it would be different, but it's not. So Brazil is staying in there. I think he's more getting tired than anything, but it, him getting hit is not affecting him. You mentioned that gas tank of Brussel and his offensive output. I don't know if that was a knockdown just, or a that was a, That was a complete knockdown. Just like I said, he has to try to find a way to get one of them right hands in, and he did there. And that could be the deciding factor of this fight right there. And Stokes is going to have to pull off 
something really big if he wants to try to steal this round at this point. It's not Stokes possible. Is gonna, Stokes is going to have to really turn up the heat now and, and really get that jab working and try to find a good shot because he's trying to counter that that left. He's trying to counter the right hand with a left hook, and that's not going to work anymore. He's got to get that jab going and really start putting combinations together. Final 10 seconds here, round number two. Unconventional but successful in that round is Will Purcell. As you see, Stokes is trying to counter the right hand with a left hook, but it's not working. He's got to use the jab and put combinations together. If that's a 10-8 round, all he can hope for, maybe if he doesn't get a knockout, is to win the next round and get a draw out of this. When we talk about the clock, the action here by Purcell in that short round, if you're the one throwing offense and landing, it's very hard to, to steal that momentum oh, for yeah, Stokes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you look at the way Brazil throws punches, like, he's the guy you want in a street fight. Right. Like, you take him over over Stokes. Right. You know, he's just throwing heat, and he could keep that up for six minutes. You know, so Stokes has some catching up to do. He's got to try to figure out this puzzle. I think right now his, his back's against the wall right here. I mean, it is the sweet science, but when you're on short time, sometimes insanity will overcome a more conservative approach. Final two minutes for these boxers to leave it out of the hands of the judges. And again, Brussel just coming out like a hurricane. Again, he, again, he's trying to counter that the right hand with the left hook. You see, again, he throws it again. But again, that's not the shot he wants because his punches haven't really done much or haven't had an effect on, on, on Brussel. So he's got to try to catch him with combinations and wear him down. For Brussel here, I don't think it's in his character to be conservative, but he may be up on the scorecards where he could just disengage and be defensive and maybe still walk away with the decision. He might. I mean, it depends on how they scored that last round. I mean, obviously it's a 10-8, but how they scored the first round. Right. I mean, he could, there's, Ooh, again, there's a good right hand, but you see Brazil's not phased by, no. his, by his power. And Brazil weighed in about eight pounds heavier than Stokes. You think that's a factor here? That's definitely a factor. I mean, you know, he's got his, and look, you know, Brazil's a strong kid. I mean, look at him, he's physically strong. He's got good legs on him. You know, he's gonna be hard to put away. He's got, you know, Stokes would have benefited from more time and being able to invest in the body a little bit and try to wear Brazil down a little bit, but he can't. Brazil in his amateur debut here tonight. This is the sixth fight of Stokes' career. Nice left and that hand. is a good shot. That is a good shot. But Brazil again, look at, but look at Brazil. Brazil. But Brazil still has legs under him. I mean, he got hit with two or three clean right. shots, but still has legs under him. He's got 30 seconds left. I think the clock is definitely on the side here of Brazil, but Stokes. Maybe just one or two big punches away from stealing this. He could. I think he's got to put it, but it's got to be in combinations. He's not going to do it with one shot. It's got to be a combination of two or three. Combination there by Purcell. Stokes forced to clinch. Larry Downs Jr. letting him work here inside the clinch. What a fight. Will Purcell, Corey Stokes. Six minutes went by really quick. Yeah, that went by quick because it was entertaining and it's yeah. so back and forth. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, let's get a big round of applause for these young men inside the ring. Great fight, gentlemen. After three rounds, we go to the judges for a decision. Judge number one scores about 30-27, Stokes. Judge number two scores about 30-27, Brussel. And judge number three scores about 29, 28. For your winner, by split decision, Will Akin!